Good morning. Welcome back. Would the king of Babylon leave a remnant there in the land of Judah? Our reading is at Jeremiah chapter 40, verses 7 to 12. And when all the captains of the armies who were in the fields, they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the son of Ahikam governor of the land, and had committed to him men, women, and children, and the poorest of the land, who had not been carried away captive to Babylon, then they came to Gedaliah at Mizpah. Ishmael the son of Nethaniah, Johanan and Jonathan the sons of Koreah, Sariah the son of Tanhumath, the sons of Ephi, the Netaphathite, and Jezaniah the son of Imaakathite, they and their men, and Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan, took an oath before them and their men, saying, Do not be afraid to serve the Chaldeans, dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. As for me, I will indeed dwell at Mizpah and serve the Chaldeans who come to us, but you... Gather wine and summer fruit and oil. Put them in your vessels and dwell in your cities that you have taken. Likewise, when all the Jews who were in Moab among the Ammonites in Edom and who were in all the countries heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah and that he had set over them Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan, then all the Jews returned out of all places where they had been driven and came to the land of Judah to Gedaliah at Mizpah and gathered wine and summer fruit in abundance." The king of Judah, Zedekiah, had been in rebellion. The word of the prophet had been, no, you need to buckle under and let the king of Babylon rule and you need to work under him. That had not been done because the rich people in Judah had been influencing King Zedekiah and that all came crashing down yesterday morning when Jerusalem fell. But what we have here is what happens after. The army of Babylon leaves. They've got other things to do. And so now Gedaliah has been made governor by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. And now the, the Hebrews that have been hiding in the backwoods and the brambles and in different countries, Moab and Ammon, now the Jews kind of come back, the Hebrews come back out of the edges where they've been hiding. And we go to Mizpah, which is where the kingdom's usually renewed. And so Gedaliah is sort of king slash governor going on here. And I think there's a lesson in here for us, you know, Kingdoms come and go, governments come and go, one party's in power, then the opposite party's in power, uh, one person on the right, and then we have people on the left in power, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down, politics, 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 and Christians can spend a lot of energy uh, sticking our brain into politics. You know what? We really should be thinking of it not as politics, but as smolitics. It, for the Christian, the things of the world, they're passing. The political things are not really where God wants us to spend our energy. We need to live the life of followers of God. We should not let politics loom giant and large in front of us and take up all of our energies. Politics should be smolitics. It should be something very on the edge over there. We don't pay a lot of attention to it. Maybe maybe keep an eyeball on it once in a while. But it's it's a mistake. It's a mistake for us to spend a lot of energy on politics, politics, politics. The instruction here was not to, oh, we need to form political parties and, and, and get, get a big thing going. No, they were to gather wine and summer fruit and oil. They were to live their lives, uh, reconstruct their lives now that the, the nation's been raided, the Babylon army is gone. So the people now need to reestablish their, their workings from day to day. They need to do the things, work the fields, do the things that are needful. Put their family near the front, not near the back. God will help us sort, sort out those kinds of challenges for ourselves. So let's not lose our way. Let politics be smolitics and keep our focus on the important thing. The important thing is the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he'll help us with all the rest. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all in his righteousness and all these other things will come into place. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, Help us to be right. Help us to have the things we put our energies on in our life in the right proportion. Put the right things first. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord, following Jesus. That's what matters to our hearts. Bless us this way. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So the king of Babylon left indeed a remnant. Some of the poorest people, poorest people don't have too much, but they're coming out of the places where they've been hiding and they're going to try to live their life for God as the kingdom sort of gets a, a reset here, a start over. If God is in kind of a restart, then it must be a good thing. Hey, God be with you today in all that you do. I know he will.